I've noticed that sometimes people put in prayers for things that they already have and they're not even conscious that they have it. I want to say this to people. Understand what you have around you and understand the blessings that you do have. Stay tuned to this video and listen to my breakdown. My name is Cyrus Asar and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. Are you praying for things that you already have? I say this. Whether you believe in God or you believe in a higher power, whatever you believe in, that's on you. However you talk to this higher power, God, or you know, you meditate or whatever you do, that's on you as well. I just want to say this. I've seen people pray for things and they talk about their prayers and I had these conversations and I remind them that you got that. They be like, man, I pray that, you know, I can have the right people around me to tell me right and wrong and et cetera. And I be like, you have that. You choosing to ignore the things that you prayed for. Like if you're going to pray and not recognize the signs that come behind the prayer, then, um, you have to do some more self-reflecting because you won't realize that you have so many blessings around you with people, with food, with whatever it may be, whatever you're asking for, you will have it abundantly. You just ignore the way it's given to you. So you can pray for a vision of seeing the things that is given to you already. You can walk around depressed. I've seen this just so much. From, I can tell you one of my friends, and he said, man, I wish I had somebody that, you know, can be looking out for me, and I wish I can have this, and I wish I had somebody that can kind of like, you know, fully understand me, and he's telling me that, so but I'm like somebody to fully understand me, and I was like, you said your son fully understands you and all that, I'm going to make a long story short. I said, you said your son fully understand. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. My son, yeah, he fully understand me. I'm just saying, you know, I just need somebody else. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you really saying now? Are you saying you're unfulfilled in this area of your life? Because you have to be very clear if you're talking to a higher power or praying or whatever. Be very clear. Because you are given, you gave, you was given a son. You say, I wish I could have somebody that I can love. Then the right person come in your life and you dismiss them. I wish I can, you know, like this person. I wish, you know, somebody can understand me. And your son understands you. He's like, you know, he told me a story about when he was feeling really down. And his son ended up turning on this game that he used to like to watch. It was an old game. He ended up turning it on, and then he set up something in the living room. He was like, Dad, I want to show you something in the living room. And his dad, he walked into the living room and seen that things were set up. And he was like, man, that uplifted my day. And I was like, see, that? that is the blessing. You got it. You got it. You had your son willing to commit to making you feel better by creating an atmosphere that he knew you loved when you were down. And you don't understand that. I've seen women do it. I pray for this type of man. I really can't. I really want this type of man, this, this. And that man been trying to hook up with him for years. And they keep shunning him because he's soft or whatever the case may be or what they think he is. And they really don't know him. I've seen all these things. And I want to say this. Oftentimes, the answer is already within you. I want you to be conscious of it. I want you to understand it. You may not understand that you are the question and the answer. The things that you are asking for, you already got. Whatever higher power you believe in already gave it to you. And they gave it to you in abundance. And you just don't recognize that you got it. I wish somebody would love me. Then you, you got your daughter, your kids. You got you got your mom, your dad, your son, your uncle, your all these people that love you, your friends. And you like, I just want somebody to love. you like, no, you have it. Be appreciative of it. Because this life thing moves fast. As fast as you got 15, as fast as you're going to get 30, as fast as you're going to be 45, as fast as you're going to be 90 if you live to see it. So you be appreciative of the things that you're praying for and you asking a higher power for, especially if it's granted to you. Don't play with that type of stuff. And I see it played with too often. 
because you think that it's some type of shopping cart. I just want to go, you know, give me a million dollars. Boom. You know, just just go ahead. You know, if give me somebody that I love. Boom. Just 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 give me this. Like, wait a minute. It takes time to materialize things. It takes time to build on something because you might not be ready for what is given to you. You may not be ready for it. So when you pray into this higher power, understand that you got all the tools to build out what you want. You have to utilize those tools. You're like, I want to, I want to, please God, give me this, you know, a million dollars. And he's like, man, I gave you extreme intelligence. Get to creating. I gave you this. I want to find somebody that I love. I gave you extreme compassion. Use it. Go out there and use it. Trust me. I'm going to connect you with the person you're supposed to be with. Don't hold on to the gifts that I gave you in order to build something that you want. It makes no sense. So I just want to say that to you. At times, people will pray to a higher power about something that they want. And God or whatever higher power they believe gave them the tools he gave you the tools to have whatever you want and you do not want to build because you don't want to use your talents and gifts that was given to you to get it it's not just going to be gifted it's not just going to be here here you go sometimes it is that but it's not just going to be here here you go there you go now go ahead what else do you want doesn't work like that because you may not know what you're getting because you didn't work yourself to the point of getting it. I know I sound hard on you. I know. But I say these things because I truly enjoy speaking. I believe that this is my gift. Whether you listen to my videos and you enjoy it, then you may be like, yeah, I believe it's a gift for you. And you might say, you know what? I'm going to the next video. This guy is on some trash. But I truly believe this is my gift, so I give it out. And whatever comes to me from it comes to me. So I'm saying that the same way I'm telling you. You have gifts. Step into them. And as you step into them, the things that's meant for you will come to you. Thank you for taking out the time to watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Definitely share this one with somebody that you know is going through something. And they don't understand the gifts that they have. You can also get my books and everything in the description box below this shirt. Just stay tuned to all these videos and I look forward to y'all responses and y'all comments. Thank you.